Yo yo guys, welcome back. I had the question to have to make like a step, um, the step that I usually make for magnificence. Uh, so what I did in this project right here in front of me, uh, I did two different ones. So uh, you can you know figure out what you like and what you want to try. I'm gonna share the project as well, and also the stamps if you'd like that. Um, so um, you have basically everything. So let's have a listen. So the wow, bow, that's kind of like the, the first step. And I have this other drop and just don't mind the mixing. I'll just give the, the elements kind of like how you can do it. I didn't really give it too much time to do some mixing and stuff. But um, yeah, let's have a listen. What I did basically is just uh, took a kick from the sample pack uh, and you know these kind of kicks I made it a little bit warmer just did some clipping on it right here and then I'll just give it some EQing just a little bit warmer remove some mids so you know uh, it sounds it sounds like this now and without it's a bit more flat you know so and then I had a little top kick on top of it. Nice clicky, clicky, I don't know, clipping something together. So that's the kick. Um, right, so here I have just a simple bass, like a square wave in Serum. And I just played this little pattern. Yeah, so basic shapes. Just gave it a little bit more harmonics in here. So it gets a nice warmth, you know? And then without the processing, it sounds like this. So with it, it's just a little bit more full, you know? So. And then, um, yeah. We wanna you know, get this step, you know, which is kind of cool. And it's this one. Hey, what's up, guys? If you like this kind of content, please go to my Patreon. I got over 50 plus videos, all in-depth videos from my previous songs and all the tips and tricks I learned along the way. So uh, yeah, please go check that out and uh, I'll help you along during your production journey. So see you there. And it has like a return kind of feeling to it. So this one. And then the other one's gonna be reversed on a different note. So how did I make that? Um, here is Serum, and it just uh, you know, took basic shapes right here, and then you can select your wavetable. So I, I picked a triangle, did it down like minus two, and I have like a sine wave, same same route to get it done, um, just to have it like on uh, zero. So it's a different pitch and it's just like some FM synthesis basically. So this one is controlling the FM and also controlling the filter low cut. There's no effects here. Just basically uh, FM synthesis, like very basic actually. And once I change this, uh, I'll make a macro of it. So once I change it, the coloring changes. So let's loop it. Change it now to position. Now it becomes very ugly. Like very, very simple. Um, so yeah, that's this bass. Just throw it here. And this has no routing whatsoever. Just simple like this. Yeah, then I have the second one right here, which is like an answer and it's on a different note. so. This is like on an E, E note, and this one is on a C sharp note. So it just kind of like plays two notes. 
feels like a question and an answer. So the answer is just this single note and the, the question is just one up. Um, yeah, so this one is Serum. And what I did is that the same thing, actually. Triangle sine wave, just the same basics. But what I did is just reverse this the other way around. So um, I didn't do it from the beginning, but I changed it here. And make sure it, it's set on envelope, so it plays from the beginning and then goes up here. And then I have a little detuning going on. And um, yeah, very simple. Same thing. Um, and there is also no effect on it. Just only these ones, just cut out the low end. So with this uh, Saturn, I gave it just a little bit of high end. With gentle, gentle saturation there. And then uh, I have this uh, clipper going on. So basically, it's, not, it's also a clipper, but I gave it some overdrives, like more harmonics. So, um, so that's basically that bass. So just have only with the kick and the bass. Pretty simple. Um, yeah, and then I added these little percussions on it, which we'll get to. It's just some splice. A right in the club. And I hit. Just this little little shake loop as well. And here is uh, just like a vocal chop. So all together then 